Apple Motion can do some incredible things. Check this out. To create this effect, we first need to import a still image of an empty bottle. Using the file browser, import the image into the canvas window. Press Command 4 to bring forward the Layers tab. Navigate to the Inspector tab and set the scale of the image to 100%. Then click on the Group layer. Now move over to the Scale parameter for the Group layer. Now depending on the resolution of your image, you'll probably need to adjust and scale downward to fit your canvas window again. Close the group layer for the picture and duplicate it four times using the keyboard shortcut Command D. OK, now we need to label each of our groups to avoid confusion. These names will correspond to areas we need to mask out. We need to protect this Republic label, so let's change the name of our first group to Republic. We also need to protect this organic label, so go ahead and change the second group's name to Organic. We also need to protect the inside and outside areas of the bottle. Go ahead and rename the last group to background. Okay, before moving forward, make sure you've labeled all the group layers of your composite. Now go ahead and turn off all the group layers except for the topmost group. Then click on the top layer for the Republic group. Navigate to the toolbar and click on the Bezier tool. Move over to the canvas window and use the keyboard shortcut Command equals. Hold down the space bar if you need to reposition the image. Use the pen tool to trace around the label. Next, move over to the Bezier layer and drag it into the image layer of the tequila bottle. Now go ahead and close the group for the Republic layer. OK, you've now protected the area with a mask. Now turn off the group layer for the Republic label and turn on the group layer for the organic label. Now make sure you click to highlight the organic group layer. Hold down the space bar and move over to the organic label. Once again, go ahead and use the Bezier tool to trace around the label. When you're done, drag the Bezier layer into the image to create the mask. Twirl up the disclosure triangle for the organic mask and turn off the layer. Now turn on the group layer for the inside part of the bottle. Also, make sure you click on the layer to highlight it. Now, you can press the keyboard shortcut Shift-Z to fit your video within the canvas window. Again, go ahead and use the Bezier tool to trace around the inside area of the bottle. Now, this time, navigate to the Object menu and select Convert to Mask. Move over to the Library tab within the Inspector window. Click on the Content category. Then click on Template Media. Scroll down and look for the Water category. Find the Water Tides movie. Drag the Water Tide movie into the Group layer for the inside part of the bottle. Now, you'll need to reshape the water object a bit to fit inside part of the bottle. Next, click on the Add Filter button at the top of the toolbar. Choose Luma Key from the Keying category. Move over to the Inspector tab. Switch the Key mode to Key Out Darker. Click the Add Filter button again to add a brightness filter. Slide up the brightness slider a bit to make things a bit more realistic. If you turn on the group layers for the two labels, you can see things are looking a lot better. If I turn on the outside layer, so far everything should look good. Now click to activate the layer for the outside part of the bottle. Twirl up the disclosure triangle for the inner part of the bottle. 
Move down to the timeline and make sure the playhead indicator is at the beginning. Once again, click on the Bezier tool. This time, trace around the entire bottle, including the top. Once you are finished, drag the bezier layer into the image to create another mask. OK, close up all the group layers and check out the result. These next steps are designed to get the bottle to light up different colors. Move the playhead indicator to the front of the timeline. Twirl down the inside group layer and delete the background image of the bottle. Next, twirl down the disclosure triangle for the outside group and click on the background image within the group. Move over to the inspector window and set its blend mode to hard light. Next, turn on the background group. Twirl down its disclosure triangle and delete the background image from within the background group. Now use the Bezier tool to draw around the area of the glass bottle again. Then move over to the inspector window and click on the shape tab. Change the feathering to a negative value to feather the inside edges of the shape. Change the fill mode to gradient. Change the gradient pull down menu to desert dusk. Navigate to the motion toolbar and press the add filter button. Choose color correction, HSV adjust. Press the record button down at the bottom of the timeline. Now move the playhead indicator to the last frame. Change the value for the hue parameter within the Filters tab to 360. Move the playhead indicator back to the beginning of the timeline. Click on the Library tab. Then click on the Particle Emitters and then the Sci-Fi category. Look for the Aurora particle. Drag the Aurora particle into the Canvas window. Then move back to the Motion Toolbar and click the Add Filter button. Choose Color Correction, HSV Adjust. Move the Playhead Indicator to the end of the timeline. Now go back and click on the Inspector tab. Again, adjust the Hue Control to 360 for the Aurora Particle. OK, back up and play the final composite. For other great tips like this, or to enroll in an Apple Motion training course, visit GeniusDV.com.